Now, a brand new tell-all documentary is released today, charting the highs and lows of life for Wayne and Colleen Rooney. It's very powerful, isn't it? Um, good morning to Matt Smith. Uh, you're the morning. director uh, of this documentary. Uh, and it's a great one. I mean, I've watched it and it's released today. Tell me a bit about that moment, those moments there, because it looked... Um, how does the director approach that moment? How do you make it seem so... It looked spontaneous. It looked like it hadn't been structured or planned or... Did it come up naturally in that moment or, or were you on that day? This is the... We've got to talk about this today. <laughs> so, um... Uh, we filmed it over quite a long period of time. It was about a year in the end of filming and I'd interviewed each of them about all sorts of topics and about all sorts of themes, uh, but I'd spoken a lot to them about some of the difficult stuff um, in isolation. Uh, and that was one of the last things we filmed because I think it was important for them both to talk about it and to see me, for them talking about it together. So. So I explained the importance of it and why I think it was um, needed and, and they were up for it. So, so it was good in the end. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's, you know, there's an awkwardness to them because it's, it's raw and it's difficult. But, you know, they, they're, they're, I take my hat off to them for, for going there. And it is really fascinating because, because Colleen, you know, it's like she's literally, it's like she hasn't rehearsed any of that. She's thinking in the moment, isn't she, about mm -hmm. the difference between acceptance and forgiveness around infidelity. I think it's such a universal theme. And, of course, this, you know, is a sporting documentary, but I think it's much broader than that, isn't it, because of some of the issues you cover? Definitely. I don't think... I think it would have been very easy for them just to make the sporting documentary, and I don't think... Um, you know, I think they would have been criticised because it would have been a puff piece. So I think we all had discussions right at the early stages and said, look, if you're going to do this, you've got to talk about some of the hard times as well as some of the happy times. And... Wayne's amazing career and and it is organic you know it isn't rehearsed because people you know everyone watches television these days we watch lots of documentaries I think if it's not true people can sense that and feel it so so and that's my job as a director is to get them into a comfortable place where you know they can trust me and open up about this stuff. And what, I mean, how difficult was it for them to agree to have their children on camera because it's lovely to see you know it's very normal family life in a very beautiful home obviously <laughs> you know the money is there it, you know it pours out of every scene you can see it but was there anything about their sort of the normalness of their family life that surprised you that's the, I've worked with a few footballers now and yeah they've all got massive lovely houses of course um uh but they are just normal human beings behind it all you know you walk into the house I mean Colleen and Wayne were lovely. They just, you know, they straight away offered me a cup of tea and brought me a biscuit. And, you know, it's, they're just normal human beings once you start hanging out with them. I mean, Wayne talks in the film. I sort of asked him a question, who does all the cooking? And sort of Wayne laughed and said, well, it's Wayne and Colleen because Wayne puts too much white pepper in all his food and ruins all the cooking. So, you know, they are just normal. And there's a the scene you're watching there. Snakes and uh, ladders. The yeah, the sna snakes and ladders. Um, it just surprised me how competitive Wayne Rooney is, and that's probably because <laughs> he's a sportsman, but the kids there, he just, he wouldn't let them win to the point where they're crying and, you know, they're, they're, they're upset and he just, he wants to beat them at everything and clean, I think, sort of rolling her eyes at him. <laughs> Do you know what I thought was actually really brave? Obviously talking about the personal stuff, but to be, watch, to have people watch you parenting on camera is such a yeah. difficult thing when your children are crying and having tantrums and being sore losers, which is what happens in that scene. And Colleen is just so still in the moment. She sort of doesn't overreact. <laughs> Although it's really, I think as parents, it's really fascinating to watch each other parent. Absolutely, yeah. I think I, I, she's got one eye on him yes. sort of winning rather, rather than the kids sort of crying. She's sort of giving him a look, I think. So. <laughs> to say, just let them win for once. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, can you let them just win? Yeah, exactly. It's and what was, it, um, what was it like for you sort of over the year of being in and out of their lives? Did you, do you become friendly or is there always, you know, the knowledge that you are creating a film about them and therefore you're doing your job? Or, or does, that, does it ever relax? Oh, it does relax. You can't, you can't be their friends. Like you're not trying to be their friends, you know, because I think they're so used to people coming up to them and, you know, taking photos and... You know, you've got to, you've got to get beyond that. So it's it sort of it stays professional, but you've got to be able to allow them to trust you, so they can talk about this difficult stuff. And that just takes time. You know, you've got to. 
I sort of, you know, tell stories about myself and, you know, sort of yeah. let them get to know me. Um, and you build to the difficult stuff. You know, you don't go in day one and say, right, tell me about some of the hardest things you've had to get through. You know, you build to that. And so with Wayne in particular, I could talk about all the football career. I could talk about certain matches, certain red cards or missed penalties or, you know, whatever it was. Exactly. And he was revered, he, you know, he revered a lot in his sports story that the world has never heard before. And some of that has hit the press already. And, and so I knew he was willing to talk about difficult stuff. So I started with him. And once I'd filmed with him a bit, I thought, right, let's go and talk to, to Colleen about some of this stuff. You know, and there's times, you know, she, <laughs> there's a side in Wayne here. And it's not, you know, I don't have an agenda. I just want to get their story across, whatever that is. Yeah. But, you know, there's other elements, well, elements in it. You know, we've... You we find out that he writes. You have a good track record, don't you? So you did the Rio Ferdinand um, That's right, documentary, yeah. which went down very well. So I think people are in for a real treat when they see this. Um, thanks so much, Matt Smith, and congratulations on what obviously was a very long project, but certainly very revealing in the end too. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Uh, Rooney is out on Amazon Prime Video today. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.